Hey, welcome back everybody. I hope everybody's doing all right out there. Today I just wanted to make a short little video about printing your work and why I think you should print your work. I just want to jump right in and start out with a photo I took of a white-breasted nuthatch the other day with my uh, trusty Pentax K1 and the uh, DA Star 300mm f4 lens. Um, this is a new one for me and uh, hopefully do a review video on that soon. But uh, this thing's awesome so far. But anyway, let's get in here. I'll take you guys to Lightroom. Um, basically, I just set up Lightroom to print a 8x10 on an 8.5x11 piece of paper um, and set the paper type and everything. And I did all of that before recording. Uh, so if you'd like a longer form tutorial about how I print with Lightroom and Photoshop, let me know in the comments below and we'll get that going. But basically just got it all loaded in there, hit print, and then watch the magic happen. So one cool thing with this print, you can tell it's got a lot of detail in it. And it's kind of crazy because that's a relatively heavy crop out of the K1, which uh, speaks some for the camera and some for printing a photo. It's pretty awesome to get an 8x10 out of that big of a crop. That is one thing with the K1 having 36 megapixels that is nice. It's at that balancing point, I think, it, it and the D850, maybe the A7R3, where you can shoot at higher ISOs and crop aways and still get a respectable print out of them. Uh, one thing I noticed playing around with an A7R4 was that it didn't take as much ISO to get to that territory where it starts getting a little noisy. However, I have noticed in a lot of cases, uh, noise isn't necessarily a horrible thing in a print. If you watched my last video where I was shooting my Pentax Spotmatic and saw it stayed around until you saw the print that I showed, that was shot on the Pentax Spotmatic with 200 speed film and was uh, scanned with the Pentax K1 and then printed the same way as this uh, white-breasted nuthatch photo was. And you can tell on it, despite being a uh, consumer grade film, the grain doesn't look bad in the print. And some of that comes to paper choice too. I, I like to use a luster or a something like this satin barita paper. Um, the natural texture of the paper tends to lend itself pretty well to these grainier photos. Um, not that this nuthatch photo is grainy, but I do like the look of this parida paper a lot. One thing that's been really fun about printing has been trying out different papers. I'd suggest if you do end up getting yourself your own printer, um, it's really cool to get the little variety packs that different manufacturers sell from like Hana Mule or even ProMaster, which is what my Brida paper is. Um, my buddy who just recently upgraded his printer, I inherited his Canon Pro 100 and that's how I'm doing this at home. But uh, one really cool thing was he gave me some of this Canon Pro Platinum paper, which is also really cool. Um, I don't know how well it'll show up from here. I'll try to get a better shot of it. But this is a portrait that I took of my nephew and my brother and sister-in-law. Um, and this platinum paper is amazing for these low ISO photos. Um, it looks better than on screen and probably even more detailed than it does digitally. Super cool. And this is kind of a twofold part that I'd like to bring up. If you're one of my viewers that likes to shoot film like I do, printing is almost even more cool on film to get the process from negative to computer to print and have all of that. It's really satisfying. And then also, if you don't have the capability to print for yourself at home, I highly suggest if you have a local camera shop or a print store, um, or if you don't, somewhere like Adorama or um, BedfordPix.com, something like that, give it a shot. This is from my local camera store, printed on just standard luster paper. Um, it's a shot that I did on Fuji 400H and the RB67. And this is just an 8x10 that I printed of it on, like I said, on Fuji Luster paper from my local camera store. And it turns out great. There's just something cool about being able to hold this in your hand and look at it. And it just looks even better as an 8x10 than it does on the screen. Um, which brings me to another point. If you are going to print, it's cool to do four by sixes and stuff and have the albums for memories and everything else, but it's a whole nother experience when you print big and eight by 10 is just the beginning of it. This is a metal print that I had done. Um, it's also a film shot actually. It's a 20 by 24 semi-gloss metal done through my local camera store. And it's super, super cool. If you guys could see this in person, it would be even better. But um, this was shot on Portra 400 with my RB67 and it, it just looks great on the wall. My goal here eventually is to have a summer, winter, spring, and fall 
four seasons type of collage done on these 20 by 24 metals up here but the metals can be a little costly so if you're planning to do a bunch of big metals like I am just plan on it taking you a while but that's my plan it will take a while and here's something else really cool you can do this is one of my favorites this shot of the Milky Way printed on metallic paper looks amazing in real life it's almost like looking at a 3d hologram it's so cool but anyway guys, I just wanted to make a short little video and uh, show you guys some of my prints and let you know that it's been super fun and that I think you should all try it because it's really awesome. It's fun to experiment with the papers and see what different types of photos look like on different types of papers. And just holding that print in your hand and being able to see it's just a whole extra experience that you don't normally get today with digital photography. And if you'd like to check out some of my prints or perhaps buy one, check them out in the link below. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram if you see any of the photos I post that you'd like printed. Hit me up. I'll print one off myself here and we'll mail it to you. Um, just let me know and we'll go from there. But guys, get out there and print some photos. We'll see you next time.